We start tonight with Florida's battle against the coronavirus. Since Friday, the state has recorded over 12,000 new infections and 214 new deaths. The state's dashboard shows more than 1.8 million total cases. And you see right there, we are approaching 29,000 deaths since this all started back in March. Meanwhile, the positivity rate, you see that red arrow? not going in the right direction. It has been just above 6% over the last couple of days, and today it is just under 7%. The threshold health experts would like to see that is below 5% to slow the spread of the virus. As the pace for COVID-19 vaccinations picks up among adults, many parents are left wondering, what about our kids, and do they even need it in the first place? Our McKenna King uh, takes those questions to two local doctors tonight, and they explain why data on how the vaccine impacts children is lagging far behind other age groups. They're good questions. We know kids don't typically get as sick with the virus, and we also know that safety is key, especially among an age group that's still developing. This trial that Pfizer and Moderna are doing right now really is mostly a safety trial. The two drug companies the FDA has granted an emergency use authorization for in the adult age group are currently working on pediatric trials. Children are always the ones they want to go to last because they want to make sure it's you know, safe in all the adult population before they go to the kids. Pfizer's are furthest ahead. So far enrolling around 2,300 children ages 12 to 15 years old in their first pediatric trial. I think by the middle of April, they'll have the answer. And as long as it's deemed safe, they'll move on to their next age group. Hopefully it's effective to you, but it has to be safe. That's step one. So how about the need? Children don't get really sick as a result of this. Uh, but all the adults that they have in contact with, and especially parents and grandparents, can get very, very sick. And while there are fewer severe cases of the virus in kids, they're not completely unheard of. We've had, even in Tampa Bay, we've had uh, under 10-year-old kids die of COVID. So this is not something that is... Um, benign in children at all. Both Dr. Tang and Dr. Yunash warning a path toward herd immunity includes kids. They talk about 80 to 85 percent of the population. Well, that by definition includes children. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease doctor, told ProPublica this week that he expects children can likely start getting vaccinated by this fall. That'll, of course, become more clear as these trials convene. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.